Alright, this is a video showing um, some accessories I got from my Nexus 7. I picked this up, uh, I pre-ordered it the day it came out, on. they showed it on Google I.O. And uh, got it a couple of days, uh, maybe like a week ago. So this is a case I got for, um, it's called Poetic, is the brand. But there's several um, companies that are making very similar cases. I think they're all just from the same manufacturer in China. Uh, it's got a little stylus soup loop, but I'm not, probably not going to use it use a stylus with this, just extra weight, I might cut that off. You open it, it has a magnet built into here that wakes the screen because there's a little magnet sensor back there. There is a bug in this design where it, the magnet's too strong and if you try to fold it and use the hand strap that's on there that it'll turn the screen off. They're sending me another one and I didn't even have to ask for it, they just they knew that they sent an old model and they emailed me and said oh yeah um, you can use that one but we're sending you another one. So that was pretty cool of them. Um, I, I got this on Amazon for about ten bucks. Uh, might have been less. Might have been eight when I first ordered it, but now it's ten, definitely. So yeah, you can flip it over and use the hand strap, but the screen turns off, so I'm not going to use it like that right now. Um, yeah, I turned the lock screen off so they can just immediately use it, but I'll probably end up um, beefing up my security a bit and put like some type of pin passcode or full-on password or something. But yeah, it locks like that. Just kind of grips it. I'm not 100% sure how safe this is. Like if I was just holding it, like. I can hold it upside down just fine. Let me see if I can grip this right. Like I trust it like that. It's just gripping the corners, but I don't know. It, it might be a little dangerous, especially if it's high up. It could you could just crack the screen. Once again, it's only two hundred two hundred dollar tablet, so if you crack the screen, you just lost what half its value. Go buy another one. I guess it might be worth the risk, but this tablet doesn't. I mean, this case doesn't one hundred percent grip this thing. So yeah, anyway, um. That's one accessory I got for this thing. I, th I think there's like certain ways to like do like that, but I'm not going to do it like that. Actually, here, let me try. Let me, let me just do it like that for now. So, um, and then let me show you another cool thing I got. So, um, I got this little guy. Don't look at the, this little thing yet. Uh, I got this little, um, this has a USB OTG. It's a newer specification for USB um, that allows it to be a USB hub. And uh, I think I'm not... Not sure which version of Android. It might just be 4.1 or 4.0 that uh, included the drivers for it and everything and support for it. But um, basically, it allows this. It, not any or anything can do it. The hardware also has to support it. But this hardware supports it, where you can plug something into the micro USB slot. This can be a device on a computer, or it can be a hub for another device. So, for example, I'm going to plug in this thing. You can see on here I have a little receiver, and that connects to this keyboard and mouse, which I'll show in a second. But yeah, I, got, I picked this up for about $1.50 on Amazon. I picked up one that wasn't like shipping from China. It shipped a little bit faster. Uh, it cost a little bit more, but I figured I wanted it a little bit sooner to use it. So I just plugged in. You saw that it kind of refreshed, and that keyboard thing came up. Uh, clicking that is not working. Um, I'm not on stock ROM. I'm rooted, and uh, I have a custom ROM on here, but not sure why it's... Clicking on here actually just causes an error. Yeah, unfortunately settings is stopped, it says. Anyway, I plug that in. There's that little USB receiver. This thing is a keyboard and mouse, and the drivers work for it. Um, so and then that, so I got this for about $1.50. I think that's definitely get one of these. I tried just cutting one up and using it. I think this just doesn't, it, it wouldn't work, because I think this side needs to be grounded, and um, just the cables I were using, one of them, the, the the female hub part didn't have grounding wire on it, so I couldn't connect it to this. It just wasn't working. So, I mean, I ordered one of these anyway. I just was trying to hurry and use one. So basically what I did was cut the little male micro USB and the female USB-A hub and tried to connect them. It didn't really work. Um, it did work connecting to my computer, but it didn't work using this as a hub. So let me show this. I picked this up for about a dollar at Staples. The deal, this, the deal is over. Um, basically, it was a combination of ten dollars off online. This normally forty dollars. It was a combination of ten dollars off online. You price match it in the store. A coupon for twenty five off of uh, any keyboard, Logitech mouses or keyboards worth over forty, forty or more, and uh, five off thirty. That was just a standard Staples sale. So in the end, if you buy it with any other item that brings it up at like a dollar or even like fifty cents. And you could buy everything for like those 50 cents. So I bought this thing for a uh, dollar. Yeah, so it was a really good deal. So anyway, I'm going to turn this on. It has a little on off switch. It comes with batteries. And you can see um, there's a mouse on there. This thing has two finger scroll. So yeah, th this thing's pretty awesome, actually. I mean, 
course, I'd rather have, like, on my desktop, I'd rather have a legit, like, PS2, um, not USB, not wireless, keyboard, um, yeah, the home button works, volume up and down works, mouse clicks work, mouse moving works, um, let me open up Chrome, um, some of my Chrome, let me turn off the, uh, let me block out this guy. Yeah. Still can't see it. Sorry about that. But anyway, let me just show you. I'm holding Control and T. New tab. Control W. Close the tab. I tried uh, reopening the last tab and that didn't work. Control Shift T. That's like if you close a tab in Chrome and try to unopen it. It doesn't work. I tried like the F5 for reload. Didn't seem to work. So Control T and Control W do seem to work. Let me try this. I'm going to do Shift Tab. Yeah, and that switches tabs. So Shift Tab does switch through the tabs. And I mean control control tab switches through the tabs, control shift tab switches back backwards through the tabs. So that seems to work. So a lot of your hotkeys from regular Chrome works. I wish they brought some of the add-ons from Chrome into here, but I know you guys can't see it exactly, but actually you can see it a little better now. Yeah. So anyway, um not sure if there's a way to get to the multitasking button. Holding the home key doesn't seem to work. And none of the hotkeys seem to work. Though I just might not have known how to do this yet. Oh, I don't know how I got to search. Let me press home again. Yeah, I'm not sure how I got this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I believe it was like... Yeah, somehow got to search earlier. Not sure. Yeah, but anyway, um, it's cool. Uh, let me actually show some typing. Um, let's just open up a... I'm not sure if you can see that, but... It is fairly responsive. I mean, I really want a mechanical keyboard, PS2, you know, like... Go all out with my keyboard, but... You're not gonna... Uh, this is much more mobile. It's extremely light. It comes with two AA batteries that come with it, so... This is an extremely good deal for a dollar. I mean, $40 value. Um, this is a really good fire sale to pick up, and I picked up a couple of these at different staples. But anyway, um, yeah, that's just showing the accessories. This case for 10 bucks, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, if you order it now, you'll probably get the newer version, which doesn't have that magnet bug. Uh, this guy for a dollar fifty, definitely worth it. You can plug in a mouse, you can plug in keyboard, you can plug in USB. Though if you do USB, there might need to be some drivers or um, you might need to be rooted and have a special ROM to like mount it, especially if you want to start going like ext4. So what this does is solve is it solves the storage problem with this guy. If you want to bring it around with movies, you could just bring an external hard drive or a USB stick, like a 128 gigabyte USB stick. You can even format ext4 to get a little more performance out of it. This is what I recommend, and this will be able to mount it. Um, I don't know if it'll auto mount, but that's what I recommend. Um, so definitely pick up one of these guys uh, if you want a case. And I, I like this case. It's not too thick. And it has the, the wake working. So yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if you sorry for about telling people these about these too late. I just wanted to pick up as many as I could myself. So this is cool because I got keyboard and mouse. So anyway, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And pick some of these accessories up if you really like them. See you guys.